When the uh, article came out in Lancet on August uh, 16th of 2018 about um, carbohydrates shortening your lifespan, I thought that'll be neat. I'll do a quick four-minute inter- uh, four video on that, spend about 20 minutes, get it done. I, as typical, I am hours and hours into investigation and, and uh, discussion on, the, uh, on this. It's a good article. There's a lot of information in there, and there's a lot of information that, um, that needs, to be, uh, needs to be covered. Actually, one of the issues is they cover another article. They cover the Pure article, and they mention it in their uh, introduction. The Pure article was um, published by Lancet also in um, August of 2017. Basically, it's, it saw the exact opposite. At least those are the interpretations. Um, the pure study said <clears throat> you need to de- decrease the carbs in your diet um, and actually made a plea based on their results that um, we decrease our diet, uh, dietary guidelines uh, component for carbohydrates. Uh, <clears throat> and as you can tell, you know, th- this is a, this whole thing is a very, very emotional topic. Uh, libertarians like the Cato Institute argue with it, but <clears throat> it's not just libertarians, it's everybody. Folks are really focused on macronutrients. Uh, I am tending to lean towards, uh, what you see in this headline. The new nutrition study changes nothing. Um, And here's why. Well, actually, I'll tell you why in just a minute. Uh, First, a brief introduction. My name is Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R. Started off as an ER doc. um, Got very frustrated with uh, the preventable death, disability, and disease that patients bring into the emergency department. Um, Decided to get training, went to Hopkins, um, ended up running the program there in prevention. I've spent my whole career uh, training and educating and helping docs uh, understand, primary care docs um, understand how to do prevention. This is the prevention channel. We talk about the science behind prevention. And this is that unending debate about carbs, uh, macronutrients, low carb, uh, versus high carb. And many people equate that with plant-based versus animal-based. That debate does get into this discussion as well. But um, <clears throat> let's go back and talk just briefly about uh, the opinion that I'm approaching this with. Um, many people say, Brewer, please just get to the point. Shorten your video, get to the point. So I'll get to my point, but again, you're going to see that it's going to take some time maybe to defend it. And actually, before I defend it, I'm uh, going to investigate it because I'm not sure that it's right either. We've got there's a lot of very smart people with smart opinions and well studied opinions. Here's my issue, though. My perspective is, um, I think there are some things we know. There are things that are far more important than macronutrients in your diet in terms of determinants of health. Smoking, for example. Diabetes, for example. Age. A 70-year-old is much more likely to have uh, health problems than a 30-year-old. A diabetic is much more likely to have problems than a non-diabetic. Um, and a smoker is clearly more likely to have problems. I mean, smoking is nuclear. It's... Um, by far the strongest uh, determinant of um, of cardiovascular inflammation and heart heart disease um, and stroke. So somebody that's a smoker, it doesn't matter what macronutrients they are taking. Well, guess what? There's one key item that I didn't mention, and that's obesity. Obesity is the same thing. Um, <clears throat> It's a far stronger uh, determinant of health 
than the macronutrient components of your diet. And these two articles actually make a very good point about this. Um, the PURE study, when you uh, look at the, um, the introduction in the PURE study, one of the things they talk about is that a lot of the studies done so far in terms of macronutrients are uh, focused in Western Europe and the U.S., their point is so many people have are overweight in those studies that any impact from um, macronutrient mix gets washed out. Well, actually, the uh, the recent study in um, the Lancet touches on some of that as well. So again, <clears throat> I'm going to continue to dig deeper into these. Um, these studies provide the information that, uh, that I find from them, but I, I'm, not, uh, I'm not changing my diet yet. And I do tend to lean low-carb with, uh, tend to be plant-based. I, I kid people I work with about eating bacon and stuff. And the reality is, I, uh, when I went with low-carb, I did let in some animal uh, some cheeses and some occasional bacon that uh, I didn't used to eat much of all, M much at all. Um, <clears throat> thank you for your interest.